on this episode of Cooking with Con and Jazz. Girls and Convo, welcome back to our Crazy channel. Crazy girls. Hello, Hello. welcome. <laughs> All right, Jazz, what are we making? So today we are making vegan gluten-free pumpkin bread, perfect for the fall. fall. Or as Jazz likes to call it, bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Alright you guys, so we're starting off with our streusel topping. So we set the oven 375, you want to make sure it's going um, as you're preparing everything so once you're done, stick it in the oven and wait. Um, as we do that, we also have our pan that we're going to use and we are going to grease it. We're using coconut oil, just light little greasing it up. Greasing it up. So. We're gonna start with the crust. This is the butter we're gonna use. We're using Earth Balance, it's vegan, it's great. So we're using one fourth cup of this butter. Butter. Butter baby. Super easy, and again, we're using a measuring cup, but honestly, so this is our first time making this, but a lot of times, if this is like a recipe that we've already made, we're familiar with it, just wing it you know i put in if i want a little extra of this or that cinnamon vanilla you can just wing it but we're using one fourth cup sure. all right so we're doing one fourth cup of brown sugar it's a little difficult to open so we're gonna use scissors to open it up cut it up cut it like <laughs> Chibity chop. One fourth brown sugar, and I love brown sugar, so I'm gonna add in a little extra. I don't think you can ever have too much brown sugar. Again, this is for the crust. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna do um, our coconut flour, which is gluten free, all yeah. purpose. <laughs> recipe to a tea, you know? Yeah. Just put the molasses in, guys. Oh, can I use that? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do one tablespoon. I swear I look way. <laughs> you guys. She swears. It's greasy. I got you. Get it? Greasy. Get it? Greasy. Okay, good. You, you're, she's struggling, too. Oh, here. Honest, guys. It says one tablespoon, but again, I love vanilla, so I'm going to do a little more than one tablespoon. We're gonna follow this recipe to a T. I'm gonna guesstimate this. Right? We're gonna follow this recipe to a T. Yeah. Pumpkin spice. One teaspoon. Who's had allspice before? If you have, comment below, because this is my first time using allspice. Um, so yeah, it would be interesting to. Allspice and everything nice. Oh. Struggling, sorry guys. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so this is one teaspoon, but really we're just, you know, spices, you don't really have to be so um, exact. All right, so now we're gonna follow this recipe to a tea, you know? Okay, and for the cloves, we're putting in three fourth teaspoon. A little splash. A little smoking to splash. There we go. <laughs> Take some off and edit this one out. I don't fucking like cloves. Fuck, dude. Yo. Oh, there we go. We got it. We say one cup of all flour, but it's gluten uh, free organic. And then we're also going to finish with two teaspoons of baking powder. I will get the 
baking powder ready after that. Okay, here we go. Just tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. I think you need a little more. Just a little. Because you didn't fill the cup up. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Hello. I'm not the expertise chef over here, okay? I'm not either, but you know, I guess the way my mom just taught me to cook was, okay, so now we're doing two cups. That's cool. No, this is half and half. Here's one. <laughs> Into Wait! What? One cup. One cup. This is half and half. Oh, one. okay. <laughs> Two tablespoons, teaspoons of baking powder. <laughs> Yo. Food Network, sign us. Pure comedy. So 375, okay. um, we have our pan lubed up, ready to go. <laughs> After all the ingredients are added, it's very thick. So thick. Perfect. And we're going to add it to thick. Thicker the better. Thick. Here it is. Gang, gang, gang. Lit. This is about to be so good. All right, guys. So now we have our finished drusel topping. It's dry. We're going to sprinkle it over the bread mix. A sprinkle. Little Yum. springy spring sprinkle me by E40. Cue it in. Yummy. We're using all of this. You guys, this is the best part. And after we bake this, we're gonna come right back for our special guest test taker. We got her off the street. She looked like she needed a meal. Delicious. Delicioso. Yes. Oven on yum, 375 yum, yum. and is ready. And we're putting it in, guys. For 40 to 44 minutes. After a brief intermission, the bread is done. Are you guys excited to see it? <laughs> guys, we're back with the roomie. I am the official taste tester. Yes. Okay. It's out of the oven. It has the crumble. I what? do have a baking background, so we're going to see what my girls are working with. Let's All right. It. Got a Ooh. corner piece, girl. Mm. This whole corner warm. piece are the best because you get that little crunch. It has a crunch. Mm. I heard that crunch. Ooh, that was a good bite. It is, right? That was a good bite. Mm. You know what this needs? Some vanilla ice cream. Vanilla, vanilla. coconut ice cream. Coconut Let's ice cream. Yes. On that yeah. note, I'm going to head out. Yeah. yeah.